starting at right wing tonight, sophomore winger number 13, Jordan Linder. At left wing tonight, senior winger number 19, Jim Allen. And starting at center, senior center number 14, Derek Goldberg. And the remainder of the rail, head coach by Steve Rockford Jr. and assisted by Corey Ward and Jesse Hopbauer. And now, let's meet the starting lineup for your Chisel Blue Jackets. Starting at home tonight, freshman goaltender, number 31, Ryan Newland. And for defense tonight, junior defense, number 10, Nick Versity. And left defense, junior defense, number 7, Scott Perunovic. Starting at right wing tonight is senior winger number 26, Logan Redovich. At left wing tonight, sophomore winger number 12, Jared Lee. And starting at center tonight is senior singer number 23, Jake Mistel. And the remainder of your Blue Jackets head coach by Todd Ursich, assisted by Bob Mestel. Chris Walters, Shea Walters, and Travis Whipper. And welcome back, everyone, to the historic Kimmy Memorial Arena. It's time for Blue Jacket Hockey. Blue Jackets ranked number four in Class A with a record of 17-1-0. Hosting the Rails of Proctor, a record of 10-9-0. Blue Jackets have outscored their opponents 24-3 in the first period. Meanwhile, the Rails have been outscored 26-25. Thing about this, Randy, we played 18 games and we've given up more than two goals only two times. Yeah, that's really that's a really uh, an impressive mark, you know, when you think about it. With this, how this team has uh, dominated in all categories and and defensive. Girl, girls have a big game here tonight down in Moose Lake. We'll try to get you scores, but it might be tough because it doesn't look like they've even done anything to Hockey Hub yet, but I'll keep my eye on that. Boys basketball back in action after some time off. They're over in Greenway. Girls basketball, they're off until Thursday. They'll head to Virginia. Other boys hockey games going on. International Falls is at North Shore. Anoka at Duluth East. Cloquet at Duluth Marshall. Hermantown's at Virginia. And a couple interesting matchups. Number one against number two in Class A. It's Minnetonka at Benilde. And another matchup. Number five, Montemita in Class A against number eight, St. Cloud Cathedral. And we're underway. Blue Jackets dump it in back to pick it up behind and it is Morin. Morin works it up over on the left side to Malik. Shot fired from Nick Versich sails wide from the right point. Malik over near the right corner of the rail zone puts it in behind the net to Tracy. Tracy tries to get it back to Malik. Comes out to the right point and unable to hold the zone was Nick Versich. Back to get it is Radovich. He'll battle with Malik into the left corner of the Blue Jackets zone. Just underway. Here in period number one, Malik gets a shot off. Eulen makes the save. Puck to the left of the goalie. Now in behind the net. Knocked off the stick of Linder. Line change coming up partially for the Proctor Rails. Versich, Prunovich back to Nick Versich. Nick Versich out to Bastel. He's at center ice. Bastel brings it across the blue line. He's at the right circle. Puts it through the crease. No one's home. And Jarrett Lee just tips it back down along the end boards and is taken away by the Rails. Here's Malik out to center. Malik dumps it in the Blue Jacket zone. It was actually Morin, excuse me. And he'll jump off the ice to complete that line change. Left wing pass to Riley Versich. Left circle offside. 15.40 to go, first period. No score. Other girls hockey games going on tonight besides our Blue Jackets at Moose Lake. You have Duluth Marshall at Proctor Hermantown. It's going to have big implications on seeding. Port Francis is at International Falls. North Shore is at Cloquet. And a final already Grand Rapids Greenway beat Duluth by a score of 2 to nothing. Puck into the Blue Jacket zone. Allison avoids a check behind the Blue Jacket net. Left wing pass. Riley Versich. Right wing pass. Sets it up. Carried across by Manson. 
Here's Manson in behind the net. Wrap around and boy, I tell you what, Sather's just got the leg over there, Randy. There was mo there was space there for a minute. Yeah, Manson had a chance. He came around the backside of the net there and kind of made a nice move there, but uh, Sather's getting there right at the right time there. Blue Jackets are going to go with their third line now. Jumped around to the right wing half wall, taken away by Osborne, rolls off his stick all the way to the Blue Jacket zone. He'll battle with Oz. Oz in front of the net, shot, sails up and over the top of the net. At the half wall in the Blue Jacket zone, kept alive by the rails and just banked off the right wing boards down in the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Bogio takes a check, puts the puck in behind the Blue Jacket net. Wes Garbo tries to work it up, banked off the right wing boards by Sepla, comes all the way to the Proctor Blue Line. Koski dumps it in the left corner of the Blue Jacket zone with 14.40 to go. One shot apiece here in this game. Bogio in behind the Blue Jacket net. He'll work it to Saikinen. Here's Saikinen. Banked off the left wing boards too far. Tried to get Osborne. The angle wasn't right, and it's an icing on the Blue Jacket. Yeah, he maybe it was... Osborne got in the middle where he's kind of covered up with the players, but looked like he might have tried to bounce it off the boards there, but just uh, couldn't get it to the right angle there. Bessel will take the draw with Dahlgren to the left of Ewan, controlled by the Blue Jackets. Prunovic from his own left corner, long left wing pass, out near the blind, here's Lee, left circle, centering pass, and boy, I tell you, Bessel just couldn't knock it down and get control of that puck. Bad a two-on-one. Has deflected up and out of play into the Hibbing bench. And we got a whistle. Yeah, great, great chance for the Blue Jackets there. Lee over to Bestel. Bestel just couldn't get good, uh, get good control of it there. Otherwise, uh, he has a wide open, uh, potentially a wide open shot there all by himself there on the right-hand side. Face off just outside the Proctor defensive zone. Now they're going to say center ice. Bessel on the draw with Dahlgren. Bessel wins the draw. Prunovic back pedals, back pedals, carries it in behind the Blue Jacket net. Not quite, almost though. Works it up on the near boards. Bessel from the right corner. Or excuse me, Prunovic from the right corner. Here's Prunovic, right wing pass runner, a tape to Radovich. Cross ice, tried to get it to Prunovic again. Radovic, it's in his skates, goes to the backhand, and it's deflected up and over the top of the net from the left circle. Malik chips it out to center, and right away, Perunovic with the puck, banked off the left wing boards, out to center ice, it's Lee. Lee brings it across on the left wing, gets by the D, comes in, cuts in, shot, save, puck loose, cleared in the near corner. In the left corner of the rail zone, it's Tracy being harassed. By Matson out near the right point. Riley Versich with it. Tries a stick handle by the defender, Dahlgren. Knocked off his stick. Pucks between the circles and a shot and a save by Sathers. Blue Jackets starting to buzz a little bit. Here's Perunovic. Slap shot. That hits the skate and goes into the left corner. And that's off its mooring. 12.59 to go. First period, no score. Heavy Chisholm and Proctor. Also, net keep coming off. I don't know, but you know what else is I've noticed? Proctor does not have a video person. They're not videotaping the game. Huh. That's I, like the first one I think we've seen a, all year. I'm going to say, I think that's a first. Here's Matson down in the left corner to Daboom. Daboom, left wing half ball. Back to the left corner of Matson. Out to the left point, psyching in, tried to work it back down, bouncing around left circle. It's picked up by the rails. It's O'Connor. Oh, dumped down in by Nordquist. And it's picked up by Saikinen. Tried to work it up near boards on the left wing. The Riley Versus couldn't do it. Centering pass, high slot, wrist shot, hits traffic. Norquist again into his traffic. Big scrum left circle in the Blue Jacket zone, and Matson comes away with it. He'll circle, and he'll stick handle. He's working down the left wing. He's at center ice. He's across the blue line. 
Knocked off his stick. Nice defensive work by Morin. Back out to center. Picking up the puck is Bergman. Oh, right alone in front. And a save. Getting a piece of it. Norquist went to the backhand. And just getting a piece of it with his skate was Ewan. Riley Versich, nice move, gets by the D, but couldn't control the puck as he broke in from the left side. Puck's in the left corner of the rail zone. Henry pass in front, and a shot and a save. Les Garbo had an opportunity. There's Riley Versich, a shot from the right circle, and Braxton, another save. Cleared down the ice into the Blue Jacket zone by the rails. They'll do a line change. And is tipped down in by Riley Versich, and the Blue Jackets will finish up their line change. 11.25 to go here in period number one. No score. Giving Chisholm and Proctor. Trying to keep it alive was Allison. He does. It's between the circles and the rail zone. And the rails pick it up. Here's Proctor's Peterson. Peterson at center. Flips it into the Blue Jacket zone. Knocked down by Osborne. And Sepula comes away with it. Sepula across the blue line to the right circle. Sepula shot sails wide. May have been deflected. At the left wing half wall, pushed deep on a pinch down from the left point by Allison. In behind the rail, Mets Peterson. Now he's going to leave it for Tracy. Tracy, a right wing pass, tried to set it up to Stevens. Over near the right half wall. Now it's in the right corner of the Proctor zone. Takes a weird bounce, comes out to the right circle, and Osborne couldn't get the shot through traffic. It's out to center ice, Knipes with the puck. Here's Knipes, he'll bring it across on the left wing, throws it on net, glove save by the goaltender Braxton Savers, and he'll hold on. 10.27 to go, period one. Shots on goal, 6-1 Blue Jackets. I should mention, Randy, in that JV game, it was 5-0, the Blue Jackets get the victory. They outshot them 54-4. Yeah, that was uh, that's that's, that's, a, that's a lot of shots. <laughs> impressive with their <laughs> shot totals there. Fifty-four to four as the Blue Jacket JV squad get the five to nothing victory here tonight. Jump down in the left corner of the rail zone. They turn it over. Radovich, he's ridden off the play. Puck will roll out to center. Gather back in by the Blue Jackets. Prunovic, long pass at the blue line. Lee tips it down in. The rails come away with it in the left corner. It's in the skates of Koski. Puts it in behind the rail. Met to Gunderson. Had it taken away by Lee in the right corner. Now to Radovich. Here's Radovich in the right corner. Right wing half ball. He'll cycle it back down to Lee. Lee pushes it in behind the net. Picked up by Bestel. Bestel with the puck. He'll dump it deep along the end boards. Now Radovich with it near the right corner. Radovich. Nick Bursich wrist shot. Right point. Hits traffic. Bang down. Lee gets it. And Lee retakes the goal lead for the Blue Jackets, his 14th of the year. This will come at 7-28. Yeah, kind of a battle back and forth between those guys, and uh, Lee gets his lead back again. Lee just banged the rebound up underneath the pad of the goaltender, Braxton Sathers, and the Blue Jackets lead 1-0. Face off, comes to the near boards, back in into the Blue Jackets zone by Tracy, and the Blue Jackets fired all the way down the ice, the wave any icing. Swing over here, Blue Jackets, number 12, Jeremy Lee. He's assisted by number 10, Nick Rosage, and number 26, Louis Radovich. And there's your assist. Versich and Radovich get the assist on that Lee goal. Play continues in the Proctor zone along the end boards. Trying to dig it loose is Riley Versich. He has it. Right circle, Riley Versich. High slot, has to regain control of it. He'll back in it off the right wing boards, back down into the right corner to boom. He'll battle with Peterson. Matson has it. Back up to the right point. Wrist shot coming from the right point from Allison and a big right pad saved by Sailors. Whipped out in the neutral ice by Bergman. Allison will pick it up. Line change rails. 8.25 to go first period. 1-0 Blue Jackets. Connect shot from the top of the left circle is deflected. And back come the rails out to center. It's Koski. Koski to the Blue Jacket blue line. Ridden off the play. Cleared out to neutral ice by Allison. With the puck is Morin at center, banked off the right wing boards. 
trying to get it in was Blake Koski at the right wing half wall. There's a penalty coming up as going down on the whack in the leg is Allison. Oz went over and hit him again. Blue Jackets going on the power play. This is at 8.57. Blue Jacket power play, 28.4%. Penalty kill, 73.5. For Proctor. And Oz is going to go off for a slash. Yeah, move your vehicle now. Yeah, move How is your that? vehicle or like, it will be. Like, like anybody can hear me because we're on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Tow it at your expense. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. Out near the blue line. Ozzy gets the penalty. Blue Jackets with it. Perunovic. Out near the blue line. Puts it over right circle. Bestel shot. Sails high. Kaboom. Left circle. Back out to the left point. Perunovic. He'll walk the line. Left circle. Kaboom. Go! Up under the crossbar, and Zach said, "No, Jarrett, yeah. we're now both tied at 14." Yeah, I want, I want that. I want it back. I want to be tied. Now you know Jake's going to get it on it too, because now he's one behind. Yeah, 13, both Jarrett and Zach. 13. They're both at 14. Yeah, Jake's, Jake's chomping at the bit to get his 14th goal this season. Here. This will come at 9:30. Time of that power play goal. That's a fifth power play goal of the year for Zach DeBoom. He has 14 on the season, and the Blue Jackets are now up 2-0. Still only one shot for Proctor in this contest. Psyching him with the puck in behind the Blue Jacket net, works it over Bogio. Banked off the left wing boards by Lee. It's going to be picked up by Bestel. His shot deflected up and out of play. Yeah, right when you talk about Jake Bestel getting that, getting his 14th, he uh, he goes right in at the net with a great chance on goal there. I wonder if that's somebody in the curling club that they can't seem to find. Oh, could be. Out to center ice is Lee. They want to check that too. Bastel at center. Bastel had it knocked off his stick by Dahlgren. And now it's dumped in by the Blue Jackets. 6.45 to go in period number one. It's a two-zip Blue Jacket lead. Puck rolls back into the Blue Jacket zone. Blue Jackets get it out to center. Bastel with the puck off a pass from Lescarbo. Trying to leave it near the right point. Back out to neutral ice. Grabbed by Lescarbo. Clipped in. Blue Jackets. Best will get off. So will Lee. So we can finish up the line, Jay. In behind the rail net was Peterson. And it's going to be flipped to the Blue Jacket blue line. Osborne back to pick it up. Gives it to Knight. Knight's in the Blue Jacket zone. Left wing pass to Osborne. He's at center. He's across the blue line. Nice move by Osborne. Oh, and a little spin move before he could pull the trigger and shot it just wide. Into the right corner with six minutes to go in period one. Play continues in the Proctor zone. Digging it loose. Is Osborne or trying to anyway? Los Carbo comes off the half wall. Henry pass the ball. Goal! Seppo! And it's 3 0 Blue Jackets. Nice job by Nick Seppo right there to make that. Right there to knock that one home. 11 12 time of the goal. And for Nick, that's his fourth of the year. Well, it started out kind of feeling each other out. Right now, Proctor is just getting overpowered here in period number one. Oh, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's a it's all the blue big blue machine running through running through the rails right now. Brunovich works it up to the boom. The boom banks it off the left wing boards down into the Proctor zone. But Scarbo and Osborne will get the helpers on Sepulveda's goal. 520 to go in period one, 3-0 Blue Jackets. Frunovich backpedals in beyond the Blue Jacket net. 
Lost an edge, gets back up and still maintains control of the puck. Near the left corner, Nick Versage. Matson has it back to Versage. Tried to hit Riley Versage, but it was behind him. He'll gather it in at the Blue Jacket blue line. Gives it back to Prunovich, who's in between the circles. Long pass to the blue line. Pucks loose, grab, shot, Riley Versage save. Trying to knock it home was DeBoom. And it's left circle picked up by Riley Versage. Into the left corner, DeBoom along the end board. Here's DeBoom, DeBoom, left wing half wall, DeBoom, left circle, shot, save, no rebound by the goaltender, Sathers. Yeah, and Dylan Matson had a good chance, backhanded, two, little backhand shot in front of Sathers, and couldn't get that one to go, but uh, Blue Jackets continuing their, their uh, buzzing, a buzzing onslaught here that they have going on. The rink is definitely tilted to the left. Sykin and throws it on net. That's deflected up and out of play off the pad and stick of Sathers. I got a good one for tilted rink. Tilted ice. Sometime tonight I'll bring that up. 14 to 1. Shots on goal in favor of the Blue Jackets. Rocker Rails haven't had a shot since probably about the two-minute mark. Radovich in behind the rail net into the right corner. Right wing half wall. Radovich with the puck. Cross ice left point. Sets it up. Sykin and throws it on net. Deflected in front by Lee. And then a save made by Sathers. And he freezes the puck. 3 0. Hitting Chisholm over Proctor. 4 17 to go. Period 1. Radovich trying to cheat just a tad bit on that <laughs> as he tries to sneak in. Sykinen throws it on net. That's blocked. Cleared to the near wall by the rails. Picked up by Lee. Lee, Bestel. Shot from the left circle. Deflected away and then pushed up against the side of the net. Say the reaches down and freezes it with a stick. And we'll have a face off to the right of the goaltender. Braxton Sathers who has been busy here in period number one. Face off control by the rails. Out to center ice. Puck taken away from Stevens. Right in front of the Blue Jacket bench. Ozzy comes away with it. Ozzy high slot wrist shot up over the top of the net. And it's gathered in by the Blue Jackets. Cross ice pass to Lee. Oh, Bestel, a two on one. Bestel comes in. Sets Lee back up. Lee to the back. Oh, oh he didn't pull the trigger. Oh, I thought Jared for sure. He must not have had complete control of that because I thought he was just going to pull the trigger. He had the goalie beat. There's Lee in the right corner. He's double teamed by a couple of different rails. Coming away with that puck is Koski. Koski with the puck. Koski, a left wing pass out to center. Right under tape to Stevens. Stevens carries it in offside. 3.14 3.14 to go, period one, three nothing Blue Jackets. I can't believe Jared didn't no. pull the trigger on that. He's probably probably thinking about it right now, thinking, oh, could have had that one. It's a great opportunity for the Blue Jackets there. Face off controlled by the Blue Jackets. Knights at center ice. Brings it across on the left wing, left circle. And he couldn't pull the trigger. Tried to set it up in front for Sepala. Tonight, right wing half wall. High slot, big right pad save by Sather. Comes over to left wing half wall where it's gathered in by Sepala. He'll put her deep along the end boards. Les Carbo has it. Les Carbo comes off the wall. Centering pass and it's cleared away behind the Proctor net. To the right wing half wall. Pinching down from the right point is Allison to keep it alive. He'll throw it towards the net. Sathers directs it in behind the net. Les Carbo with the puck. Les Carbo comes in. Shot. Save. No. Oh, it's a goal. Joe Les Carbo came off the end boards. Came around to the right of the goaltender. And somehow got it by him. And for Joe Les Carbo, he'll get in the scorebook with his sixth goal of the year. This will come at 14-29, and the Blue Jackets are up 4 to nothing.
It's like the big blue machine here tonight. Yeah, big blue machine is out for out for blood here tonight. First period has been dominant, dominant, dominant hockey played. Well, this will tell the story right here. Shots on goal, 17 to 1. And that one shot on goal came within the first two minutes of the opening period. <laughs> and Proctor hasn't had a shot since. Allison gets the only assist. I know this car will go loose after the save to the right of the goaltender and is cleared away. Now Madsen with two minutes to go in behind the Proctor net. Gets it back out to the left point. Riley Versich, Brunovic works it over to Nick Versich, right point, banked over. And I tell you what, Brunovic got drilled by Linder. I mean, big time. And there's no call. And Scott's going off and it's offside. I think he got it right in the throat, sir. I don't know if he got cross-checked or... Because I was actually... I was behind the play after he passed it. Somehow I think Linder's going to pay for that one through the course of this game. Yeah, I, I would think somebody's... Yeah. Well, if Scott gets back out there, I'm sure Scott's going to pay him back. There's a shot actually on net and a glove save. That's shot number two put on by Bergman from the right wing half wall. Yeah, Brunovic, he, he's okay. Yeah, he's back standing up again. He's fine. Sorry. He, he's got his helmet on already. He's ready to go. He's probably going, man, it's going to leave a mark. Mm -hmm. Banked off the left wing boards by the boom, giving chase. Tried to avoid Evan O'Connor. Rolls into the left corner of the rail zone. Matson with the puck. Matson to the left circle. Matson cuts over to the right circle. Matson with the puck. Centering pass, and it's off the stick of the boom. It's going to roll out the center. Boggio's got to go back and pick it up. Boggio will battle with Nordquist. Nordquist lost his stick. There's Riley Versich with the puck. He's at center ice. Stick handles by a couple players. Comes in, shot deflected up and out of play. 47 seconds to go in this first period. That's just been dominated by the Blue Jackets. They lead 4-0. Again, nice hustle by Riley Versich there. Getting in on the net. Dylan Madsen with some chances too as well. A couple good, uh, couple great shifts with those kids there tonight. We get entertained by figure skaters today. Yeah, and between the second and third, I think we have those. Play continues in the Proctor zone. Coming off the half wall on the near boards is Koski. He's at center. Koski throws it in on net, directed in the left corner. By Eulen, now in behind the Blue Jacket net. Turned over top of the right circle, but ridden off the play was Morin. Nick Versich to Perunovic, left corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Here's Perunovic, Perunovic to center. Here's Perunovic, right circle cuts in, has to go behind the net. His angle was cut off. He's at the left circle, sets it up. And Nick Versich is shot from the right circle, is blocked in, in the left corner. Shot, put it in! in. <laughs> Holy moly, Jarrett Lee just threw it at the goaltender. It looked like it hit him in the right shoulder and rolled down his back into the net. That's the second goal of the night for Jarrett, and he's got 15 on the year. Holy goal, Jarrett Lee, what a goal there. This will come at 16-59. Kind of a weird, weird angle shot. He was down along the goal line near the left corner and just threw it at the net. Looks like it hit Sailors in the right shoulder and then just kind of rolled down his back and in the net. Blue Jackets lead five to nothing after one period of play. Let's get our assist there on this goal. Well, Randy, there you go. That 
that first period was dominated by the Blue Jackets. Just totally dominated. Yeah, if there's, if there's domination, that was that was it right there. Well, the way it started out, I, you know, I was like, oh boy, this could be a little tighter than I thought it was going to be. Cause yeah, it was it, you it know, going back yeah, and forth. Back and forth, right away, and then. That once the Blue Jackets got going, it was like, oh boy, yeah, it's going to be a tough night for the Rails. After one period of play, it's been all Blue Jackets here tonight. They lead five to nothing. First intermission found the way. You're listening to Blue Jacket Hockey on 106.3 WMFG. Classic Hits Radio 106.3 WMFG Hibbing, a service of Midwest Communications. <laughs> And welcome back, everyone. It's the AAA Awards. Let's check in on this, and then we'll cover our stuff. Our two award winners. First, let's meet Sam Borrells. Sam is the son of Cynthia and Tony Borrells, and has an older sister, Matea. Sam is the vice president of the Key Club, of which he's been a member for four years. He has been an active member of National Honor Society for two years, student council for four years, and the varsity knowledge club team for three years. He is a three year member award winner in soccer. Sam Yeah, you know, that's a really, uh, really cool honor for those two students. They, you know, not only on the field athletically, you know, Sam is in soccer, but also both of them in many other, many other programs at the school. And, and Katie to be, you know, top, she's the top grade point average of her whole class. And, you know, they, th those kids work hard and they're involved with a lot of different programs. And uh, congratulations to both of them. All right, Blue Jackets dominate here after one period of play from the historic Hibby Memorial Arena. They got a five-zip lead. Why don't you run down our uh, stats for us? 
Well, Blue Jackets got it going at uh, 7 minutes and 28 seconds. This was Jarrett Lee picking up his 14th goal of the season. Gets the assist from Nick Versich and Logan Radovich. Then the Blue Jackets would make it 2-0, this time on a power play. Zach DeBoom notching the goal at uh, 9 minutes and 30 seconds. His 14th goal of the season tied for the team lead at that point and his fifth overall power play goal of the season assisted by uh, Scott Perunovic on that one. And then the uh, Blue Jackets would make it 3 to nothing. This time Nick Seppla picks up his fourth goal of the season and he gets assists from Joel Scarbo and Parker Osborne. That goal at 11 minutes and 12 seconds. Then the Blue Jackets made it 4 to nothing. This time, Joel Scarbo picking up his sixth goal of the season with a single assist from Ben Ellison. That goal coming at 14-29. Then the Blue Jackets would make it 5 to nothing at 16-59. Jarrett Lee retakes the overall team lead for goals of the season, picks up the 15th goal of the season, his second goal of the night, then gets the assist from Scott Perunovic. And uh, Blue Jackets, five goals in that first period. One minor penalty assessed. Uh, two Proctor Rails for a total of two minutes. One save for Ryan Eulin in that first period. And 14 saves uh, for Sathers of the Proctor Rails. Five zip Blue Jackets after one. Blue Jackets one for one in a power play tonight. You want to say thank you to General Waste for all your disposal needs. Choose General Waste, sells the candy and supply. Your wholesale candy and supply distributor and Ira Corps International, pioneers in engineering elastomeric pipeliners. We'll be back with more of our first intermission coming up after one from the Hibbing Memorial Arena. It's Hibbing Chisholm 5, Proctor nothing, and it's Blue Jacket Hockey on 1063 WMF. And hey, welcome back everyone to the historic Hibbing Memorial Arena after one period of play. It's all Blue Jackets here so far tonight. They lead by a score of five to nothing. Take a look at some of the other scores going on in boys hockey, a couple of finals. It's North Shore getting a two to nothing victory over International Falls. North Shore is now going to be five and three in section play, 14 and four overall. International Falls will drop to four, seven and one in section play and nine, 10 and one. Another final here that kind of surprised both Randy and I in Bemidji. Bemidji beat Hill Murray today by a score of 6-2. to two. That's a thumping right there, Randy. Yeah, it really is. I mean, that, that's a... Uh, wow. Bemidji, I thought last year, I thought that, that was their big year because they had all those seniors, but they must... They still have players coming. They're going to be a tough team to knock out of the Section 8 tournament, I'm sure. And just because uh, I'll throw it out because we just played them on Saturday and beat them. Thief River Falls is taking it out on Lake of the Woods. <laughs> After two, it's 5-1. <laughs> Snow score down from the Heritage Sports Center between Anoka and Duluth East. Mars Lakeview Arena, 134 left to go in period one. Cloquet, Asco, Carlton, 2 to nothing over Duluth Marshall. After one period of play at the Miners Memorial Building, it's Hermantown 2 and Virginia Mountain and Buell nothing. And an old-fashioned rivalry at the Gardens Arena in War Road tonight. Rosos at War Road, no score as of yet. There, you're caught up on boys hockey. Let's check girls hockey here real quick, see if I can find a score for us. In the meantime, we'll have things loading because it's slow here with the Wi-Fi. Section 70 standing sitting at the top are the Blue Jackets in Hermantown at 4-0-0. Then Greenway, they're 9-3 in section play. North Shore is in the number four slot at 5-3. Proctor so far in the fifth slot at 2-5. Again, this is based on their QRF. Genfeld is 6, 4-2 in the section. Virginia is 7, they're 2-4-2 in the section. International Falls is 8 at 4-7-1. Eveleth Gilbert coming in at 9 in section play at 2-8-1. And in 10th place, it's Ely, Northeast Range, 0-4-0 in section play. That's where it stacks up at the moment. And no score being reported from Moose Lake at the moment. That one we might not be able to get. All right, let's take one more quick break. We'll come back with second period action. The ice has been resurfaced. After one period of play, Tipping Chisholm 5 and Proctor nothing. Blue Jacket Hockey right here on 106.3 WMF. 
And welcome back, everyone. Still waiting on the rails to come on out, but the Blue Jackets are out on the ice. Coming out to start the second period is going to be for the Blue Jackets, Travis Tupa, the senior goaltender. He's played in 34 minutes this year. Got a goals against average of 3.00, a safe percentage of 71%. As he'll come in in relief for Brian Eulen, who saw one whopping shot in period number one. Yeah, right. Travis is going to get some play in time here and also. Thanks once again to General Waste Good. for all your disposal needs. Choose General Waste, Sullivan Candy and Supply. Your wholesale candy and supply distributor in Ivory Corner National. Pioneers and Engineering, Elias America Pipeline is proud sponsor of the Blue Jacket Sports. Blue Jackets have outscored their opponent 33 to 14 in period number two. Proctor has been outscored 32 to 23 in the same said period. A couple of goals tonight for Jarrett Lee if you're just joining us. He has two points on the night. Scott Perunovich, two points on a couple of assists. And Joel Escarbo, two points in that first period on a goal and an assist. Blue Jackets will be moving left to right. It's Doug Giedrich, Randy Keaton bringing the action. Bessel will take the draw with Dahlgren, and Bessel wins the draw. Perunovich from the Blue Jacket, blue line. Long pass to the blue line. It's Lee, slows it down. Out near the right point, Nick Versich over to the left point, Perunovic. He'll just zip it along the boards, down deep in behind the Proctor net. <laughs> Perunovic is going off. He just took out, he took out Linder, and Linder's the one that hit him earlier. Perunovic took him out. Linder's the one that nailed Perunovic in the first period. This comes 19 seconds into the period. Power play for Proctor. Their power play at 18.6%. Penalty kill, 87.2. And going off, too, it's going to be Morin. Morin goes into the box. So we got matching penalties. The question is the length of said penalties. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they call here if it's just two 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 minor two minute minors or if they're gonna get discussion still going on with the refs and there we go So it's going to be a five-minute major on Perunovic. Hmm. Again, that was behind the play, but it looked like uh, Linder could have been a knee-to-knee -knee thing. It's a five-minute major for a slash. And now the referees are all over at the Blue Jacket bench. Meanwhile, all the Proctor guys and the Hibbing guys are all talking to each other at center ice, just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for the game to start again. Now, there's a discussion going over at the Proctor bench with head coach Steve Rockford. He's kind of not... Doesn't look like he doesn't appear like he's very happy right now. No, he don't. He looks like a not so happy camper. He's really going on. Oh, oh, Discussion still continues. Robert still hollering. Got a new goalie, Lucas Norquist is in. Lucas Norquist is now in the game. In relief of Braxton Sathers, and this is uh, his first 
action in a varsity game. I have no stats whatsoever on that young man. Lucas Nordquist played in the JV game. He's a 10th grader. So it's four on four hockey. Here's a shot put on and a save by Eulen. And then Eulen gave a love tap to Dahlgren as he skated by. Minute 44 left to go into four on four. Then it'll be a three minute power play for Proctor, barring anything else happening here. Believe it or not, we're just starting period number two. Haven't even gone a minute into it. Five nothing Blue Jackets. Here's Bestel. Carries it deep in behind the Proctor net to the left corner. Left wing half wall. Now it's to the blue line. He's gonna leave it for Sykinen. He'll bring it down near the half wall. Back out to Lee. Sets it up over to Bogio. His shot saved by Nordquist. In behind the Proctor net. Back. Bestel battles for the loose puck. Sets it up. Oh, Lee got their quick shot off from the slot. And just getting the left leg on it was the goaltender Nordquist. Here's Lee. Left circle. Flips it over. Tried to get it to Bestel in the right circle. But I think Bestel was headed the other direction. Lee with the puck. Lee, left circle. Lee comes in. Shot save Norquist. Puck loose between the circles. Trying to break out with it was Malik. And Malik, he couldn't do anything with it. At center, it'll be fired in by the Blue Jackets. Psyched in. Line change coming up. Still 37 seconds to go in the four on four. Flipped out to center. Knocked down. Here's Riley Versage. Carried it in. Left circle. Riley Versage in behind the Proctor net. Got a little bit of speed going out to the right point to Allison. Allison throws it on net, saved by Norquist. Then along the end boards, it's Matson. He'll battle with Tracy. Matson comes away with it. Left circle. Matson going to leave it for Knight. Left circle shot, saved by Norquist into the right corner. Matson with the puck. Eight seconds to go into four on four. Along the end boards, it's Riley Versage. He'll skate it over to the right circle. Back out to the blue line. Allison, a wrist shot. Norquist saved. He'll dive out to his right and freeze it. And here we go. We've got 2.56 of a power play now. Coming up for Proctor on the five-minute major on Perunovic. Yeah, nice chance there for Dylan Matson. They're trying to get a little bit too high in the zone. Otherwise, he might have picked up his first goal of the night there. Face off to the right in Nordquist. We have relief pitchers in, or I guess you'd call them relief goalies in hockey. Into the right corner of the Proctor zone. Bergman in behind the net. He'll set it up. Morin threw it out to center to Ozzy. Ozzy gets it right back. Ozzy left circle comes in. Shot saved by Tupa. And banked and fired to the Proctor Blue Line. From the right circle in the Proctor zone, it's Bergman. His pass is deflected. Carney has it. He'll fire it down the ice. 2.14 to go in that power play for Proctor. 13.50 to go period two. It's a 5-0 Blue Jacket lead. From behind the Proctor net, it's Morin. His pass is tipped. But they'll able to gather it back in. It's Ozzy. That was way offside. I was going to say, blow that whistle. Koski was about 10 feet offside. Yeah. I didn't think he was going to blow it at first. Huh. Yeah, I didn't see a delay, delayed whistle. Though. Minute 59 to go in that power play for Proctor. I don't think he, at first I didn't think he saw him because he was screened. But that dude was like a good 10 feet offside. Puck into Proctor's zone. Into the right corner. Back in behind the net. Sets it up for Morin. Right wing pass. Out to center. Dahlgren. Dahlgren gives it to Malik. Malik, right circle. He goes down. He lost an edge. Play continues now into the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Sykinen. He gets away from Malik. Sykinen flips it into the left corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Bogio tied up. Near the left wing half wall. Centering pass. Comes out all the way to the right wall and then banks off into the Proctor zone. They got to go back and pick it up. Bergman banks it off the right wing boards. It's going to angle. Nope. I thought that was going to go right in on Tupa and it slid right by the net. So icing on Proctor. Minute 13 to go on that power play yet.
Face off to the left of Nordquist. Bastel on the draw. That one's won by O'Connor. Carried in behind the Proctor net by Tracy. A right wing pass to Ozzy. Ozzy carries it in. He's run off the play by Lee. Lee took it away near the right wing half wall. Here's Jared. He's got two goals. He's working down the right wing. Jared going to cut in and couldn't pull the trigger on the shot. Rolled off his stick. Tracy with the puck coming off the end boards in the Proctor zone. Long pass out to center to O'Connor. Too far. He's going to roll into the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Allison picks it up. Here's Allison, banked off the right wing glass all the way down the ice. Going to roll right in on Nordquist, who stops it. 30 seconds to go into Proctor power play. Shots on goal, 24-3 in favor of the Blue Jackets with 12-04 to go in period two. Blue Jackets up five zip. At the Blue Jacket blue line, Nordquist tipped it in, knocked off his stick to the end boards in the Blue Jacket zone. Ooh, and Allison took a shot from Ozzie. Working down the left side, out to center is Knife. He's across the blue line. Knife left circle shot. Blocker saved by Nordquist. Knife picks up the loose puck. Centers it up high. A shot put on. Puck's loose. And Madsen, oh, I don't know if Nordquist got a piece of it or if Madsen shot it wide. But he was staring at the top half of the net because it was wide open. Riley Versich off the right wing wall. Right circle shot. Another blocker saved by Nordquist. Into the left corner. Back to five on five hockey. Blue Jackets killed off a three minute power play. Back to the left point, sets it up. Knife with the puck. Knife dancing around, had it poked off his stick out to center. Back to pick it up is Allison. He's got Stevens all over him. Into the left corner now and behind the Blue Jacket net. Allison took out one of them players, the Proctor guy, but here come the Blue Jackets. Here's the boom, the center, the boom. Cuts down, stops in the right corner of the Proctor zone. The boom with the puck. Right point, sets it up for Nick Versich. His shot's deflected, bouncing around, still trying to save it. And Riley Versich gathers it in at the right circle. Versich will put it down in the right corner for Madsen. And here's a penalty coming up on Stevens. Stevens has pulled a couple of those, and he's going. That's probably going to be boarding. Could be boarding there. Yeah. If there's not a check from behind, it's definitely boarding. Referee has not called the penalty yet. We're going to discuss it here, but I think this is going to be a boarding. It's going to be a five-minute major. Versich and Stevens having words. Stevens, you're going to the box. Go sit down. This will come at 627. No, it's going to be a cross check. But it's power play number two for the Blue Jackets. They're right, one for one in the power play tonight. Face off to the left of Nordquist. Trying to clear it with Mosier. Osborne, Nick Versich, right circle. Nick Versich stops half ball. Carries it down in the right corner. Goes behind it at the left Garbo. On the left wing half wall to Matson. Back to Les Garbo in the corner. Left point sets it up, psyching it. Back to the left corner, Les Garbo. He'll work it along the end boards. It's Matson. Matson skates back out, left wing half wall. Les Garbo. Left corner, back out to the left point. Sykin and throws it on net and saved and rolls into the right corner. Osborne prevented it from leaving the offensive zone. Nick Versich, right circle. You're in your front, yeah. up under the crossbar, deflected by Matson. Power play goal. It's six to nothing. And for Dillon, that's number six on the year. Nice tip in. Very nice play by Nick Versich to get that. Puck into Dylan Madsen. Dylan Madsen just knocked it in with a little dip in there. For deflection. Big goal for the Blue Jackets there. 9.50 to go here in period number two. 7.10 is going to be the time of that power play goal. Blue Jackets up 6-0. Linder with the puck. Lifts it into the Blue Jackets zone. In behind the net. Picked up by Bogio. He'll get it to Sykin in near the right corner. Blue Jackets try to break out. And Bessel just runs over Stevens, but lost the puck. Puck 
puck deflected up and out of play in the Blue Jackets zone. We'll have a face off to the right of two, but 9.15 to go here in period number two, and the Blue Jackets now lead six to nothing. Osborne, nice night so far. Two, uh, two assists on the night for him. And uh, Nick Versich also two assists on the night. They got multiple points by multiple people. Here comes Les Garbo, two on one, right circle, sets it up. Osborne shot deflected wide off the stick of Gunderson. Osborne with the puck. Right point's going to throw it down in the left corner. Tracy will grab it, tried to clear it, can't. Kept alive at the left wing half wall by Sepala. Pushed it a left point. Nick Versich has it, sets it up to Carney, right point. His wrist shot gets through. Saved by the goaltender Norquist. And a shot put on by Sepala down low and another save by Norquist. Blue Jackets just continue to press. Left wing half off. It's Les Garbo. 8.38 to go, period two. Six nothing, Hibbing Chisholm. Les Garbo stops into the right corner. Leaves it there for Osborne. Osborne pushes it towards the net. Cleared away by Tracy. At the right wing half wall. Oh, and saving it with Sepala. Right circle, Les Garbo. Sending back up. Sepala couldn't pull the trigger in a wide open net. Oh, he wishes he had that one back. In behind the Proctor net, Les Garbo will battle. Winning that battle momentarily was Tracy, and that's deflected up and out of play on a clearing it. Yeah, Nick just couldn't get the wood on it there. Otherwise, he would have had his second goal of the night. That Great net, opportunity. That net was so wide open. He'll be, he'll be, Nick Seth will be dreaming about that tonight. Dreaming about that wide open net. 8.04 to go, period two, six nothing, Blue Jackets. Face off control by the Blue Jackets. Allison works it over to Erickson. Erickson seeing his first shift here tonight. And Allison jumps it down deep, takes a check from Ozzie. Kept alive on a clearing attempt, left point. Rister by Knipes, that's deflected up and over the net. Now a long pass to Ozzy, and it rolls off his stick as he tried to break in on Tufa. Penalty coming up on Ozzy as he ran into the goaltender. Oh, you better not call that on. Yeah, I'm not whoa, sure calling. Yeah. whoa, whoa, he ran into the goaltender on his way by. Tufa didn't fall over because of the breeze. Yeah. yeah what? They're going to call a hook on Knipes. This will come at 925. But what about Ozzy running into Tufa? Yeah, they didn't call that. Should have been goaltender interference. That's what I was thinking. When he put the hand up, I thought that's what it was going to be. Power play number two coming up for Proctor. All right, where's Parker? Get shorty number five on here. <laughs> Parker Osborne has all four short-handed goals for the Blue Jackets this season. Dump down in. Out to kill the penalty. It's going to be Basil, Boggio, Saikinen, and Lee. At center. Tipped into the Blue Jacket zone by O'Connor. O'Connor. In behind the Blue Jacket net to the left corner. Banked off the boards. Out to the left point to Gunderson. Back to O'Connor. Rolls off his stick. O'Connor gets it back. Shot put on block. Here's Lee. Out to center. Lee. General. Oh, we got a penalty coming up. That's interference as they took out Bestel at the blue line. Vessel tried to get by and he got interfered with. So this will come at 10.05. And going off is going to be Evan O'Connor for interference. So out of all that, the Blue Jackets will end up eventually with about a 39 second power play. Yeah, minute 21. So four on four hockey here for a minute. And 18. Right wing half wall. Malik sends it back down. Knocked off the wall. Here's Osborne. Osborne left circle. Shot saved by Norquist. He'll hold on. No rebound. Minute six to go. In the four on four. 6.40 to go. Period two. Six nothing Blue Jackets. Knocked in the left corner of the Proctor zone. He'll zip it around. Bojo couldn't hold the zone at the right point. At center, Osborne. Osborne tries a stick handle. Gets it knocked off his stick. Trying to get to it was Riley Versich. And the rails come away with it. At center, it's Mallet. Mallet 
Tries to stick handle by the D, does, comes in, shot close, save Tupa. Nice save by Travis Tupa there. Solid save. Nice play by Malik to get by the D and get that wrist shot off from the left circle. He was going in an upper corner. Yeah, he was trying to go with that upper corner and Travis put that glove up there and made that big save there. The preserve. Preserve the shutout so far. Still four and four hockey for 39 seconds. Then the Blue Jackets have a very short power play. Carney knocked off the play at center. He gets back up, regroups, gets the puck, and fires it in. Norquist stops it behind the Proctor net. And trying to get to the puck was Tracy and tripped up his own goalie. It's like a comedy show out here at the moment. <laughs> Tracy in behind the Proctor net into the right corner. They'll work it up to the right wing half wall. Linder's tied up. Radovich with the puck, Radovich, Radovich spins around. Out near the left point, cross ice to Nick Versich. Nick Versich carries it down deep into the right corner. Goes in behind the net to Matson. All right, Blue Jackets got a 35 second power play. This will be their third. Blue line, Carney, wrist shot, sails wide. Trying to battle for the loose puck is Matson. Right circle, Matson pushes it to Radovich. Radovich carries it in behind the net. 19 seconds to go and some power play. Carney back to Nick Versich, right point. Nick Versich with the puck, carries it down low, try to get it to Manson. Manson, right corner, 10 seconds to go into power play. To Erickson, Erickson stops. Nick Versich, his shot sails wide, top of the right circle. And push down the ice, back to pick it up is Nick Versich. That short power play is now over. We're back to five on five hockey with 4.45 to go. Period two, six nothing, hitting Chisholm. Over the rails of Proctor. Kept alive by Allison, left point, zips it around the wall as the Blue Jackets finish up that line change. Out to center and deflected up and out of play. Face off will be just outside the Blue Jacket zone. On a draw, Cephala. And O'Connor. Face off controlled by the Blue Jackets. Knights will dump it into the right corner of the Proctor zone. Giving chase of Les Garbo with Peterson. Cephala in behind the net. And leave it for Les Garbo. Centering pass to Erickson. Rolls off his stick. Allison will cheat down. Right wing half ball through towards the net. Deflected in behind the net by O'Connor. Picked up behind the net. Erickson tying up Peterson. Les Carbo tried to come off the end boards with it. And now it's Erickson in the right corner of the Proctor zone. Banked off the boards. Out to the right point. Wrist shot. Allison puck loose. And it's picked up by Peterson. He flips it up and unable to clear it. Peterson off the right wing half wall, backhands it down to center. Knocked down by Knipes. Here's Knipes with the puck, avoids a check. Knipes with the puck with 3.40 to go. He'll backhand it in the Proctor zone. Line change. Oh, what a defensive play by Allison because right at the Blue Jacket blue line was Dahlgren. And he came back and knocked it off his stick before he could do anything with it. And now we've got, who's going? Seppler. Zappola and Bergman having some words. This will come at 1332, the coincidental minors. Again, that was behind the play. We have to watch this one on TV. Yeah. See what all this stuff going this in be behind the play. Because I was looking at the puck and all right. of a sudden I heard, whoa, and I looked over and refs going, you both are going. We'll get it here in a moment. Sykin and tried to flip it in the zone. Hit a Proctor player. So a slash and a rough. In the Blue Jacket zone, Radovich, left wing half wall. Now Bozio in the left corner, had it taken away by Linder. Centering pass, intercepted by Lee. Lee's at center, tried to work it to Radovich. 
Puck bouncing down. Radovich with it. Radovich in behind the net. Radovich gets it out to the left point. Sets it up. Wrist shot. Doesn't get through traffic from Saikinen. Actually hit bodies. Picked up. Into the right corner. It's Bestel. Here's Bestel. And he tried to hit Radovich high slot. Kept alive. Left point though by Saikinen. Thrown on Nick. Love save. Norquist. He'll hold on. 2.24 to go in period number two. And it's a 6-0 Blue Jacket lead. Shots on goal, 33-5. Face off to the right of Nordquist. And with the puck is the boom. Corner to Matson behind the net. Crunched up along the boards by Koski. Here come the rails. They'll flip it out to center ice. Carney fires it back in. Knocked down by Morin. Morin to the Blue Jacket blue line. Tried to hit Ozzy. The boom. And Morin go at it as Morin backhands it down into the Blue Jacket zone. Picked up by Carney. He'll stop him behind the Blue Jacket net with 154 to go in the second period. Blue Jackets unable to clear. Kept in near the blue line by Stevens. He'll backhand it deep again. Nick Versich flips it around. Comes to the left wing half wall. Kept alive at the left point. Shot sails wide from Stevens. At the right point. Backhanded by Morin. At the right wing half wall. Puck loose. Right circle. And the boom. Gets it out to center. Knocked off his stick. But comes right to Matson. And now the boom is getting run over by Morin. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff behind the play here. Yes, there is. Here comes Ozzy again. Backhand and a save. And another penalty coming up on DeBoom. And then Nick Persich comes up and wraps an arm around Ozzy. Somebody's going off. DeBoom's going to go off. At least one penalty on the Blue Jackets here. 15-47 is the time of the penalty. It looks like it's going to be a power play for Proctor, their third. With 1.13 to go here in period two, things are getting a little heated. Slash on to Boom. Six-nothing Blue Jackets, barring anything weird happening here at the end of this period. We'll start period number three in running time. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Ozzy's going off for the rough. Scratch said power play. So, just coincidental minors. Here's Lee off the face, off to Radovich. Radovich works it up. Radovich, right circle, shot. Norquist squeezing his side. He just got it. On a nice wrist shot from the right circle by Radovich. 105 to go here in period number two. Six nothing Blue Jacket shots on goal, 35 to six. Push down the ice with the puck at center is Linder. Linder across the blue line, tries to get by Lee. He's taken up along the boards. Linder, right wing half wall. Ridden off the play by Lee. Here's the Blue Jackets, two on one. Bessel on the left, Radovich on the right. Bessel, shot, save. And Norquist holds on. Meanwhile, Radovich and Malik knock the net off the board. 40 seconds to go here in period number two. Well, the JV got the varsity. Well, they only gave up four shots. Yeah, the varsity's giving up six. There. Yeah. <laughs> Another impressive win for the JV team here tonight. In the left corner of the Blue Jacket zone, or excuse me, the Proctor zone. And out to center, it was off the stick of O'Connor, flipped into the Blue Jacket zone. No icing's going to be called. Perunovic lost an edge, gets back up, oh, left corner, blue jacket right. zone. Yeah, they are. He must have got a stick up under the skates. Delayed penalty coming up on Proctor on the trip. Osborne, left corner. Osborne tried to push it to Lascarbo, and now this will come at 16.53. 
And going off is going to be Solom. Uh, that's actually not Solom, that's Bergman, excuse me. Power play number four coming up for the Blue Jackets. Keep in mind that third one was only about 38 seconds long. Otherwise, the Blue Jackets will be perfect on the power play. They got two power play goals tonight. 7.4 to go in the period. Slap shot by Lee, deflected in front and shot up. And what a save by Nordquist to just snatch it out of the air. By that sophomore goaltender for Proctor. 1.9 seconds ago, face off to the left of Norquist towards the net. That'll do it. Period number two. Six to nothing, Blue Jackets. As the Blue Jackets continue the domination here after two periods of play, it's a six nothing Blue Jacket lead. We'll be back with our second intermission coming up. You're listening to Blue Jacket Hockey on 106.3 WMFG.
both squads are back under the ice, and we're about ready to get third period action underway. Blue Jackets with a six to nothing lead over Proctor. Doug Dietrich, Randy Cater here bringing the action. Blue Jackets will have a minute 53 of a power play. Blue Jackets will also be moving right to left across your dial. Two points in the night for Parker Osborne, a couple of assists. Two points for Scott Perunovic on a couple of assists. Two for Nick Versich, a couple of assists. A couple of goals and two points for Jared Lee. A goal and assist for two points for Joel Escarbo. Quite the productive night. But Jared Lee got his lead back with 15 goals. Yes. Yeah. And and Jake is pointless. Yeah, he, he's been looking for that. He's looking for that. Uh, for his looking for his 14th. You know they're the year. you know they're going to be ribbing each other in the locker room. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. you know they're always talking about goals and assists and all this stuff. Here's Jared Lee, and we're underway third period. Blue Jackets on the power play for a minute 40. Sets it up, Radovich, out to the blue line, over to the right circle, Vestal. Vestal throws it over to the left point to Perunovic. Prunovic to Lee, right point. Right circle, Vestal. Vestal cycles it down low. Radovich and Bruno and Les Carbo. Oh, I don't know if it, I don't know if Gunderson got a piece of that or not, but it sailed wide. He was camped down to the right of the net. Had that opportunity, a minute 15 to go into power play. Prunovic at the right point. Throws it down low, right circle to Vestal. They'll set it up again, Radovich, back it up and under the crossbar, Radovich buries it. It's a power play goal for the Blue Jackets. Three for four on the power play for Logan, that's number 11 on the year. And it's seven to nothing. Two points in the night for Logan. The assist should probably go to Bestel and Perunovic, but we'll find out. And we'll also get to time as we are in running time. 7-0 Blue Jackets. Matson in behind the Proctor net. Now Riley Versich is there. He's tied up with Linder and Dahlgren. Nick Versich kept it alive. Right point. Vessel's going to get the long assist. And it's going to be 48 seconds to time of that goal. Blue Jackets up 7-0. Plays in the Blue Jackets zone. Rolls out to center. Carney with the puck. Carney to center. Brings it across the blue line on the right wing. A boy, oh, there's a slash coming up on Malik, and that's just a frustration penalty. Blue Jackets going back on the power play for the fifth time here tonight. Malik will go off. Right around though, the 215 marker thereabouts. As we are in running time and the Blue Jackets lead 7-0. Face off to the left of Nordquist. Controlled by the Blue Jackets. Here's Bestel with the puck under the blue line. Leaves it for Lee at the right point. Lee. Brunovich left circle. Bestel. Tried to get it, couldn't quite get much wood on it from the right point. Or excuse me, the right circle. Right out at the right point, it's Lee. Lee dances across the line, left circle to Boom. Here's the Boom, throws it on net, sails high. May have been deflected. Radovich, left corner, left point, Lee. Sets it up for Frunovich, who will walk the blue line. Over in the left circle to Boom. Works it down low, Radovich. Back up top, Lee, right circle, Bestel. Minute five to go in the Blue Jacket power play. Bestel out the blue line. And he turned it over and fired on the ice by Bergman. Again, if you're joining us late or maybe ran off in the other room to get a beverage, the Lady Blue Jackets lose in overtime in Moose Lake by a score of 2-1. There's Bestel in the left corner of the Proctor's zone. 40 seconds to go in that power play. Gets it to Sykinen. Sykinen pushes it along the end boards of Les Carbo. Les Carbo comes to the right circle. Les Carbo out near the right point, spins back around. He'll work it around, 
It's Osborne, right wing half wall. Out to the blue line, Nick Versich. Back to Osborne, right wing half wall. Nick Versich, right point. Back to Osborne at the half wall on the right side. Osborne gets it down low. Let's go, Bo to Madsen. And he shot it right into the right pad. Just sliding to his right with Norquist. Nine seconds to go. And able to hold the zone at the right point was Nick Versich. Back to get it as Saikinen. This will pretty much take care of the penalty, and it does. We got 12.34 to go in the game. It's a 7-0 Blue Jacket lead. Nick Versich in behind the Blue Jacket net. Sets it up. Madsen. Now a left wing cross ice pass. They quickly work it. Psyching in. Oh, nice play by Osborne. Try to get it to a trailing Les Garbo. Just couldn't quite connect on it. Nice back check by Osborne to take the puck away. Gets it right back from Les Garbo. Osborne left circle. Cross ice. Knocked down Manson. Centering pass. And Les Garbo is tied up in front by Tracy and couldn't get anything on it. Ozzy. Ozzy into the Blue Jacket zone. Knocked off the play by Sykinen at the blue line. Pucks at the right wing half wall. Shot sails wide from Koski. Chip back down and beyond the Blue Jacket net. Nick Versich with the puck. 11.40 to go in the game. 7-0 hitting Chisholm. Tied up at the left wing half wall. And kept alive at the left point by the rails. Split towards the net. Ozzy in front shot goal. Buried it up under the crossbar. Beat Tufa. And it's going to be 7-1. And for Ozzy, that's his 13th. Took kind of a weird bounce as they took a whack at it near the left point to keep it alive. Bounce into the left circle. Ozzy picked it up. Tracy just tried to keep it alive and it took a weird deflection bounce into the left circle. It was picked up by Ozzy, skated right in the slot and buried it. So, 7-1, so we're still in running time. There's a trip coming up. And it looks like Linder's gonna go off for Proctor. Delayed penalty coming. Erickson with the puck, coming off the far wall. Left wing pass out to center to Versi. Riley gets it over. Now to the right side, shot put on. And the save, and the shot put on by Lamphere. He's seen his first shift tonight. So the Blue Jackets back on the power play. This will come right around the six something mark. Linder's gonna go off. Power play number six for the Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets already have three power play goals tonight. Oh, that's off the skate of Brunovic at the left circle. And it's going to be whacked and cleared down the ice by Proctor. Bastel picks it up, stops behind the net, leaves it for Brunovic. 9.34 to go in the game. 7-1 Blue Jackets. Brunovic across in behind the net. Center up in front. And boy, oh boy. Bastel had a chance at it. and Couldn't quite get any good wood on it. And Norquist just reached down and froze it. Yeah, Logan Radovich uh, skating in there with a chance to, uh, but uh, there was no rebound out there to have, be had there. Lee, right circle. Bastel crossing front. Prunovich sets it up. Radovich the goal. He's got two, and it's eight to one. Power play goal for Logan. Jack, it's four for six on the power play. And again, keep in mind, one of those is only 39 seconds long. Eight and a half to go, Blue Jackets lead eight to one. Ozzy tried to carry it in the Blue Jacket zone, comes to the Blue Jacket blue line. Loose pucks grabbed by Osborne. Osborne working down the left side, cuts over to the center of the ice. He tried to center it, comes right back to him. Centering pass over to Cepola. Seven, 
Jerry Lee's third point of the night. Oh, and just missing it on the backhand with Les Carbo. It rolls just to the left of the cage. Les Carbo, left corner, rail zone. Carney, left point, and he couldn't hold it. Here's Ozzie to center. Ozzie, denied entry at the Blue Jacket Blue Line by Nick Versich. Here's Nick. Nick Versich carries it down into the Proctor zone. Taking a whack at it with Stevens. Parker Osborne couldn't control it. And back come the rails to center. It's Koski across on the right wing to the right circle. Ridden off the play by Seppala along the end boards. Into the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Now Seppala having some fun down there behind the net with Koski. Into the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Coming away with it, Nick Versich. Gets it to Matson. Matson gets by Ozzy at the Blue Jacket Blue Line. Carries it into the Proctor zone. Sets up Carney. Carney and it rolls through the paint. 6.54 to go. Thrown to center. Fired back in by Sykinen. Blue Jackets up 8-1. Shots on goal 43-7. At the left wing half wall. Knocked down by Riley Versich. Then cleared around to the right corner by the rails. Kept alive at the right point. Shot put on by Boggio is blocked. It's going to roll to the Blue Jacket blue line. Malik with the puck. Malik shot goal up under the crossbar. And it's 8-2. to two. And this will come at about 10-32-ish or thereabouts. And for Malik, that's his 19th of the year. And it's an 8-2 to two game. Get back in and a save by Norquist as he breaks on in. Nice drive by Riley. Comes in off the face off. Gets down in there. Gets the backhand. But Norquist, a nice save. Five and a half to go in the game. Face off to the left to Lucas Norquist. The sophomore goaltender. He's been busy here. He came in after the first period in relief of Braxton Sathers who gave up five goals in the first period. Blue Jackets lead eight to two. Right wing half wall, Blue Jackets with it. Riley versus shot is deflected. Cleared around to the left wing half wall by the rails. Comes out to center, Matson with the puck. They'll work it over to Knipes. Tonight's long pass. They'll wave any ice in as they try to hit Versich at the blue line. The rail's with it. It's a right wing half wall. The boom. Oh, nice wrist shot, though, by Knights from the right point because the boom just took Stevens out of the play and that puck came right out to Knights. 440 to go in county. This seems like the longest 17 minutes ever, does it not? Yeah, it seems like a really long 17 minutes. <laughs> I was just sitting there thinking that, going, man, we still got 4.20 to go. And this is running time. Right. We haven't stopped the clock. I mean, it's... Proctor blocks the shot in front for the rails. Number 16, that's Jack Young. Here come the Blue Jackets. Bestel brings it across. Bestel's going to set it up. Lampier shots blocked by Tracy. Left wing half wall. Picked up by Erickson. Erickson tried to get it to Bestel. And it's at center where it's intercepted by Knipes. He's across on the left wing to the left circle. He'll throw it in front of the net. Oh, and no one's home. Comes out near the right point. Slap shot. Nick Versich. His shot sails wide. It's going to come all the way out to center ice. Erickson has to gather it in. Erickson with the puck. Going to leave it for Nick Bursich. Thrown to the Proctor line and brought across. Mail it. Left circle sets it up. Ozzie. And here's a goal. And we're getting Gonna burned left and right with 3.28 to go. There goes running time. It's 8 to 3. Stop the clock there. 13.32 is going to be the time of the goal. It's the second one of the night for Ozzie. And he now has 14 on the year. Three 
25 to go in the game. Saikinen carries it into the Blue Jacket zone, gets it over to Bogio, left circle. Back to Saikinen, banked off the left wing boards, the center intercepted by Jack Young, comes in a Blue Jacket blue line, and knocked off the stick of the rail player. Jumped down in the left corner, Morin giving chase with Cephala, gets it to the right corner, that hits the skate of Les Garbo. Les Garbo tried to center it to Cephala, oh, and he just couldn't get it to him, and it rolls all the way out to the blue line. Nice back check by Parker Osborne to take it away. Osborne skates in behind the Blue Jacket net with 2.47 to go. 8-3 to three Blue Jacket lead. Osborne couldn't keep it balanced. Right in the high slot. Shot. Save. On a wrister from Linder. All sorts of fun stuff going on in front of the net. Well, they didn't get to send each other Christmas cards, so they're giving each other the holiday greeting a little late. Yeah, a little, a little greetings, New Year's greetings exchanged late year. Eight to three with 2.38 to go, face off to the right of Tupa. Vestal on the draw with O'Connor. Vestal wins the draw, Nick Bursage left corner, Blue Jacket zone. No battle with O'Connor. O'Connor comes away with it, left wing half wall. Pushes it deep to Nordquist. Nordquist can't control it. Play continues along the end boards. Nick Bursich and Nordquist going at it. Into the right corner with 2.18 to go. Here come the Blue Jackets. Vessel had it knocked off his stick. Fire back into the left corner of the Blue Jackets owned by the rails with 2.10 to go. Blue Jackets still can't clear the zone. Shot put on from the left point. Saved by Tupa. 2.04 to go in the game. 8-3 Blue Jackets. Girls lost in overtime down in Moose Lake, 2-1. That leaves the girls with one more game and it's on the road Friday in Grand Rapids against the light. The boom had it, got it out to center anyway, tried to avoid a check but couldn't control the puck. And banked out the left wing boards back into the blue jacket end but it's icing with 150 to go. Face off to the left of Nordquist. Tied up in the circle, Nick Versich with the puck. Or that's actually Riley. Puts it in behind the net for Matson. He's checked up on the play by Morin. The boom on a little wraparound backhander and a save by Nordquist. He'll hold on with 137 to go. The boom looking for his second goal of the night and trying to. Ty Jarrett for the lead. Yeah, they're battling out for that. Right now you got most goals in the year. Jarrett at 15, Zach at 14, Jake at 13. That's going to be knocked all the way down the ice. Back to pick it up, Knipes, no icing. Minute and a half to go in the contest. Blue Jackets lead 8 3. Knipes comes away with the puck. Right wing pass. Out to center is Matson. Matson brings it across on the left wing. Avoids one check. It rolls off his stick in the left corner. He takes a check from Stevens. And the rails come away with it. Koski stick handles the center. Working down the left wing. Koski stops left wing half wall. Knocked down left point. Oh, there's a slap shot from the blue line by Morin. Teed it up and set it up into the net. 56 seconds to go. Blue Jackets are going to be 18 and 1. Proctor will be 10 and 10. Proctor looking for to get to 500 at the end of the season for the first time since 2010 and 2011. Right now they're just a hair over it as they'll be 10, 10 and 1. Or 10, 10 and 0, oh, excuse me. With five games remaining on the docket. Left wing half wall, Blue Jackets on center. He pass, shot a blocker, save on a wrister from Dahlgren between the dots. Malik is shot blocked in front. And 
The Blue Jackets come away and say, there's a slash. Yeah, there's Winder. That's the 10th penalty on Proctor here tonight. Well, I believe it. Winder just slashed him and busted Scotty's stick. Power play number seven. Blue Jackets already four for five on the power player, <laughs> four for six. He turned around and said something to the fans, sir. Huh? He's, he's talking to some of the heaving fans behind him. Who, Robert? <laughs> yeah. 22. 22 seconds to go in the game. Out to center. Work it up. Here's Osborne. Right circle. Osborne shot glove save Northwest. Eight seconds to go. Well, almost done here, Doug. <laughs> Eight seconds left. Been a crazy game. Got a lot of penalties in this bad boy. Flip down in the left corner, and that'll do it. Blue Jackets get the win, eight to three. Kind of a weird game, but the Blue Jackets in control throughout this whole contest. Blue Jackets now 18-1-0 on the season, and they'll prepare for the invasion of the Purple Wave, the Broncos. Coming in on Thursday. We'll be back with our post-game show coming up. You're listening to Blue Jacket Hockey on 106.3 WMFG.